But as we've been reporting, Pokemon Go is causing some big problems, yeah, too. Yeah, no doubt. John Monk spoke with one alleged trespasser in Ohio who was busted for playing the game where she did not belong. Hundreds make their way to the Toledo Zoo daily, and now many of them spend their time playing Pokemon Go. But early this morning, 25-year-old Robin Bartholomew and 26-year-old Adrian Crawford could not wait until the park officially opened. I was just hanging out with my friend. We were playing Pokemon Go at Walbridge Park, and we were just like, hey, I got a crazy idea. Let's hop the fence. Toledo police were called by zoo security and arrested the two for criminal trespassing, something that Bartholomew alluded to in a Facebook post earlier this week. Yeah, I do. Um, it wasn't the most responsible thing, but hey, got to catch them all. The zoo is a veritable treasure trove for players of Pokemon Go, as the game uses defined landmarks and various terrain to spawn the creatures in the real world. There are a lot of Pokestops everywhere. There's a lot of memorials. There's a lot of different places you could go. Carnivores Cafe here, the Tembo Trail. The Toledo Zoo welcomes visitors who may be coming to the zoo to play Pokemon, as long as they acknowledge the barriers and safety measures set up to keep visitors safe. Obviously, we welcome all guests to um, to attend the zoo and mm -hmm. to if they're playing Pokemon, that that's fine with us as well. Criminal trespassing ranges from a fourth degree to a first degree misdemeanor in Ohio and could mean jail time of 30 to 180 days. A price this Pokemaster says is not worth the catch. Doesn't matter if it's a Charizard. Don't break into people's property to catch it. That's probably good advice. How long will this go on, you think? That's for a different day, huh? <laughs> Yesterday, the game surpassed. Remember Candy Crush? Well, this is now bigger than Candy Crush, the biggest mobile game in history.